All right, if you'll stand and join me in pledging allegiance to the flag of our country, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Remain standing. Will you pray with me? Father, we uh, thank you for this beautiful day that you have given us, and uh, we thank you for the fact that we could be outdoors just for a little bit, and we enjoyed that. We thank you for this group tonight, Father, uh, that is looking after the business of Guthrie, and we just ask that you bless them and give them wisdom that comes from above in making decisions that are best for this community. pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Guthrie Public Works Authority meeting is called to order. Uh, number two, community announcements and recognitions. We have none. Uh, next meeting, we should have a bunch. So item number three, consent agenda. Uh, council for item A and B, I need a motion and a second. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Council, or excuse me, that was A, B, and C. Let's redo that, please. So Count. moved. Second. I have a motion and second. Council, cast your votes. Chairman, all the votes are in. Show us the votes, please. And it's unanimous for the ones that are here. Thank you. Guthrie Public Works Authority meeting is adjourned. The City Council meeting is called to order. On the consent agenda, items A and B. Uh, for a vote, Council, I need a uh, motion and a second. So moved. Second. Council, cast your votes. Show us the vote. <laughs> it's unanimous for who's here. From Europe. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, a long distance vote. Uh, item number three, discussion and possible action on ordinance number 3249, amending chapter 19, article 4 of section 19-86, removing the wording voting member. Mayor and Council, it's the intent of the city to not have a, I'm sorry, this have city employees vote as appointed members of a city committee. I want to thank the mayor for bringing this to our attention. This will now make that board have a five-member quorum with five voting members. All right. Any other questions, discussion from Council? I need a motion and a second, please. So moved. Second. Council, cast your votes. <laughs> mayor, all the votes are in. Show us the votes, please. And it is unanimous. Thank you. Uh, number four, discussion of possible action resolution number 2014-03 to waive selected sections from the Guthrie Code of Ordinances during the annual Guthrie 89er celebration. Mayor and Council, and this one is for the month of April and uh, following years, the month of April, as long as the 89er celebration event occurs to allow our uh, businesses in the Historic Preservation District and if any residences, uh, would like to decorate sidewalk streets, display banners, and allow for signs without a permit. We um, recommend approval of resolution 2014-3. And council understand that this is gonna be basically for every year from now on for the month of April, for 89ers, they don't have to come back and ask for permission, that this is a blanket approval. We've got it one month only, month of April for this item, right? Council, I need to, go ahead. So moved, I agree with you. Uh, That's great. Second. Council, I've got a motion and a second. Cast your votes, please. Mayor, all the votes are in. Show us the vote. And it's unanimous. Thank you very much. Number five, discussion of possible action rewarding bid number 2014-01 to the highest and best bidder for the mineral lease of seven mineral acres uh, described as the south 95 feet of lot B, the south 95 feet of lot C, the south 95 feet of the east 89 feet of lot D, lots B, C, and D are out of river lot 5, and all lot 1 uh, being located in the Riverside subdivision in the southwest quarter, including all accretion and riparian rights pertinent in, sec in, two in section 32, township 17 north, range 2 west of the Indian Meridian to Logan County, Oklahoma. I've got nothing. That was great. That was exactly what it is. Yeah. You want to repeat that? I'm good. That sounds great. <laughs> we got uh, 
one bid on this mare. It was from Jess Harris Company. We've got seven acres. They bid $500 an acre bonus, 316th royalty for a three-year lease, and staff recommends we accept that lease. Any discussion questions? I, I have a question. Uh, so how did this originate to sell? Did they come to us or? Brandon. Came to us wanting to lease and we were required to put it out to bid. So. Okay, okay. Did Jeff have anything? Yeah, I think no. Jeff's got something. Leased it. No, don't, uh, have you, is, did they come to us or did you guys go out and look for no, this? No, they came to us. When do you have to have this done? Well, we opened bids today. We went out to bids, and today at 2 o'clock, bids closed. We sent out about 20 letters. I, I just talked to a guy today that offered me a bunch of money for mine down in Stevens County. And this county is very hot right now. He said this is the hottest county going. I did check with some other landmen, and they indicate this was a pretty good bonus for this it particular for area. This, so. For this county. Okay. I'll tell you later. <clears throat> it is a hot county here. Yeah. I mean, should we wait till we have more bids? Or? It closed. It closed. closed. Oh, it's closed at 2 o'clock today. Oh, it did close. Okay. Can you rebid it? Yes. You could? If you want to rebid it. I don't, I mean, I don't know. What do we, are we in a rush? We're not in any rush. Did we advertise it? How did we? Yeah, we advertised mm -hmm. it, and I sent out about 20 letters to different operators. Okay. And majors and minors. Huh? This is the one. Right, how long did we give them? A week? Or? No, they no. 30 days. Mm -hmm. 30 days it was open. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, if that's the only bid we have, then we might as well just go for this. I think we should look at, I think we should look at a new company if we've got one. I, I guess I have a question. Uh, has anybody said that they're getting ready to drill or will it go into a pool? Because that would make a difference in what you accepted. You well, I would expect that they're going to drill this. So they haven't been pooled yet, I don't believe, but uh We've, but got, still we've got a small interest that they discovered mm -hmm. in doing their land work, know. mineral okay, land I just work. was a little right. curious. But we've had 30 days and it's been open, and that's the <clears> only <throat> bid we have, mm -hmm. and it's a good one. And we ran it in the newspaper. We were required to do that for whatever good that might do. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? Sure. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> All right. I move that we accept the bid. Is that okay for I, motion? Yeah. I would second that. You going to second that one? Council, I have a motion and a mm -hmm. second. Cast your votes, please. Mayor, all the votes Show us the votes. And it is unanimous for who's here. Thank you, Council. Uh, item number six, city manager's report. Um, wanted to thank our, our firefighters that tested. We had 14 candidates test. Uh, all but six of those passed uh, the agility test, so all of them passed the written test. So now we're going to interview eight new firefighters. We had some paramedics apply, so we're pretty excited about that. There are two openings with firefighters right now. Um, over the weekend, we had about half an inch of rain. Um, doesn't sound like a lot, but uh, under the wind conditions, we're pretty thankful that we didn't have uh, any significant fires this past weekend. Um, I want to remind everyone that Lenten lunches are on Wednesdays. I believe this upcoming Wednesday at noon is at uh, First United Methodist Church and our very own uh, Don Reapy that has uh, faithfully been with us for years uh, during our prayers. He'll be uh, presenting a sermon, uh, I believe, at noon at First United Methodist this um, tomorrow. That would be tomorrow. Tomorrow. Um, our school resource officers, we uh, supplied two additional officers uh, to the school district this year. They did, uh, I say this year, they were able to start last week. We're excited to see that. We're going to remind people, if, if Mary doesn't, that the 89ers event is April 14th through 19th, and you'll hear more about that. I want to praise our, yeah. our airport has been nominated for Airport of the Year for the state of Oklahoma. Uh, we an anticipate seeing the results of that in the next month. Last week, I want to thank staff for uh, and some board members for attending Arbor Day at the government governor's mansion. Senator Griffin awarded the city of Guthrie a uh, growth award. I um, also want to thank Mayor Coffin. Uh, 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoa. That was oh. Freudian. Is the <laughs> no, um, Mayor Spradlin and Councilmember Coffin for judging uh, the uh, chuck wagon feed at Lazy E last weekend. I, I do believe it was below 32, and they were outside uh, tasting beans and meat and dessert, and it was a, a grand old time and a phenomenal event mm -hmm. at Lazy. If you've never been able to watch Timed Championship Rodeo, it was, it was really amazing. Um, a duath duathlon is coming to town March 29th. Um, we're, in, we're anticipating about 200 participants. Uh, they would not be swimming in the lake. They just do the biking and running on uh, March 29th at, at 1 p.m. Um, so you won't be in your canoe again? I will not. I asked if I could kayak, but they said there's no point, but I might do it anyways. So that's all I have. Thank you very much. Thank you. Number seven, request or comments from City Council. Let's start with uh, Cheryl Paget, please. Okay. I do have a comment. Yay. Uh, our uh, water tower on the west side shed some skin this past month, mm -hmm. and there were several staff members that I understand went out on their hands and knees and cleaned up some yards. Very grateful for that time. Not very many people would do that, and it was cold and wet. And um, I'm going to make a couple announcements. Uh, there will be an Irish music concert at 6.30, the 21st at Guthrie Christian Church. And on April the 5th, they're going to have a fish fry uh, from 5 to 7, and it's for donations only for their youth. That's uh, it. That's it? That's it. All right. Mr. Taylor, please. I uh, just want to tell the staff again, thank you for all your all's hard work. I know it's been cold, hot, cold. I kind of, I'm like everybody else, I'd like to see uh, winter finally go away. It should kind of warm up a little bit. Uh, but uh, I appreciate what they've done, and I know the firefighters would kind of like to see the wind die down just a little bit. I've passed them several times going either out or in, so I know they're getting tired of that as well. But uh, I appreciate all their hard work. And uh, Did Cody win, get an award here just recently or something was done this last week? He passed a test or something. I don't remember what it was. Our airport, uh, Justin Hyde. Justin Hyde. Hyde. Justin Hyde. Yeah, oh, God. I don't know who it was. They're similar. Um, <laughs> they so look the alike. Well, yeah, but I didn't know that. Which, 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 which saves us money on um, the training in the future for his okay. level of certification. Okay. Well, congrats on that. Yeah, I didn't know who got what. I just, yeah. just happened to glance over it, and I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention that's to fine. it. Okay. And that's it. Proud that's it. Notes. Thank you. Mary Coffin. Well, it's spring break, so there's not a whole lot going on right now in Guthrie. The uh, public library is going to host the Chamber Coffee tomorrow morning at 9.30, and everybody's welcome to attend that. Um, there will be a um, next week, Saturday, 29th, a chili cook-off. So I guess after they eat, after they do their duathlon, they can Ooh. eat Ooh. chili. Ooh, yeah. Idea. So uh, that, that's for Relay for Life. <laughs> yeah, that will finish them off, won't it? Uh, so you can spend $10 and participate with your chili, or you can spend 7 and eat all the chili, whatever you want, whatever your preference is. Um, I did go to the Pollard Theater this past weekend for the Miracle Worker, and it was fantastic. So uh, they've got another play coming up next month, but... You guys really if you haven't gone to any of the shows they are really good i'm gonna let john talk about everything else okay you're up mr wood <laughs> oh there's a whole lot <laughs> okay Here, uh, one thing <laughs> I, i'm just i'm glad to be back um uh, where there's no snow i was in washington dc and uh there was five to nine inches in the dc area so i'm glad that's not what's going on here <laughs> so it's a lot nicer here. So, um, see, so Guthrie Noon Lions, uh, they're going to have a fundraiser March 28th. Uh, it's a pancake feed. Uh, it's their annual event. 11.30 to 1.30 is uh, what they'll do in the morning. And then they'll do a 5 to 7 p.m. one um, at the Legion. And it's for scholarships for uh, kids at the high school. So, Guthrie High School. Thank you. That's it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Mary, that chili thing they're also having for desserts, too? Desserts. Oh, yes, that's right. correct. There is dessert there, too. So it's not just chili. It's dessert. You so Yes, there will be some. I'm going to do a couple of special ones. So, oh, good. Um, I will be there. And for the 89ers, just to let you know, there are a 
a couple of things you need to be aware of. Number one, the governor will be here as a master of ceremonies. Is that what it is? Uh, so she will be riding in the parade. Um, they ran out of carriages with horses, so we're going to have just, well, that's whatever's out there. All right. And also, Stacy has dreamed up this stick horse thing. So for kids and adults, if you want to make your own stick horse, there will be a contest. And there, there's a couple of hundred kids already signed up to use this stick horse to go in the parade. It's going to be eight. Now, if this keeps going, there may be a thousand kids out there. Can a city manager? Can city it? manager can do it too. <laughs> uh, you know, it's open to all ages. So this will be something new. Uh, they're still having their three-wheel race thing or whatever it is somewhere. But again, stick horses are going to be a new thing in the yep. parade. So get ready for that. All right, number uh, eight, consider approval to convene into executive session pursuant to the authority of Title 25 OS 2001 as follows. Uh, items A and B, 307B4, for the purpose of discussing confidential communication between the city of council and other individuals. Uh, council, I need a motion and a second. So moved. Second. Cast your votes. Mayor, Show us the votes. We are in executive session.